We come together today to celebrate love. Do you, Wilfred Crumbs II, take Pebbles Grenier to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. <laughs> and do you, Pebbles Grenier, take Wilfred Crumbs II to be your lawfully wedded husband? Oh, I do, I do. <laughs> and I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may lick your bride. Oh. Oh, wasn't that the sweetest wedding? <laughs> it sure was, Mrs. Grenier. Did you capture my pebbles when she did that adorable jump on her way up the aisle? I sure did. And what about when she licked her lips saying the vow? Yep. And what about... I caught everything, Mrs. Grenier. I think you'll be very happy. I have no doubt about that. <laughs> because a little birdie told me that you are one of the best wedding photographers in the city. My ears are burning. <laughs> I shall be so pleased to meet you. I'm the little birdie. Martha Jones. So thank you so much for capturing our big day. <laughs> My pleasure, Mrs. Jones. It's very lovely to meet you. We can't wait to post your photos on the community website. <laughs> Do you know how many photos Mrs. Thompson posted last year of her daughter's wedding in Cabo? Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, Martha, you have to let that go. Well, I still can't believe we weren't invited. Martha? Oh. Anyway... Are you free on July 2nd? Mr. Randolph's granddaughter is getting married, and she still doesn't have a wedding photographer. <laughs> or a venue, for that matter. <laughs> Kids today! <laughs> they leave everything to the last minute, and then they expect you to jump, and poof, it'll all work out. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mrs. Jones, but I don't do weddings anymore. You just did this wedding. Oh, well, I, I mean, I do pet photography now. Pet weddings, family photos, pets with Santa, anything with fur and feathers. Honey, you were featured in Wedding Wonderland magazine three years ago. As the best photographer in the city. Your photographs are a big deal. I'm sorry, Mrs. Jones. Like I said, I can't help you. Well, if it's the money... FYI, Mr. Randolph is loaded and single. Oh, Martha. Yes. It's not about the money. Thank you for a wonderful day. I will get you your files too tonight. Mrs. Jones, it was really nice to meet you. I'm sorry I can't help with the wedding. Thank you, Zoe. Thank you. Come on, Martha. Come on. Come on. <laughs> That's weird. Hello? I have a, a very dangerous guard dog and uh, I'm armed. <laughs> Zoe! Some guard dog? Marvin! What are you doing here? Making mimosas and pancakes for lunch. Yum! <laughs> How did you break into my house? Z, you've kept your hide key under the welcome mat for over a decade. It's, it's not brain surgery. Plus, is it really breaking in when we've been friends since preschool? Yes, Marvin, it is. I could have really hurt you. Really? Well, I could have mildly irritated your skin, but I do appreciate the pancakes. Only the best, because we are celebrating. We are? I've got some big news. You do? I'm getting married. <laughs> A wedding! <laughs> oh, Z, it was so romantic. Kenny proposed by the lake during the most beautiful sunset. Oh. 
I'm so happy for you. Really. And how's Kenny doing? Improving every day. You know Kenny. Nothing stops him. That's so great. In a strange way, I think the accident made us stronger as a couple. You know? Getting through the hard stuff. Well, he is very special. So, when's the date? At the end of the month. That's quick. We're on a tight timeline, which brings me to my other big news. The resort? Yes. <laughs> it's finally ready. We officially open Monday after the wedding. Full Adventure Resort and best wedding venue ever. Kicking it off with our own felt like good mojo, you know? Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. You felt the life you've always wanted. I did. And I have you to thank. You gave me the courage to be honest with myself. And I was terrified to show the world the wrong me. I'm so glad you did. Me too. And now it's time I return the favor. What? It's time that you're honest with yourself, Z. Oh, no. Please don't ask me. I'm asking. I don't shoot weddings anymore, Marvin. You know that. It's who you are. It's who I was. Who I am now is a girl who likes her quiet life with her very loyal dog. I only accept clients with fur and feathers, period. I like pets. They don't run off to Paris whenever things get hard, and they certainly don't break your heart. I know it's hard to hurt you, but it's time that you move on with your life. Plus, he's changed. He's grown. He left me a week before our wedding, Marvin. Hurt is an understatement. Look, I am so happy for you that you're getting married. I really am, and I hope it's everything you've ever wanted. I just can't be there. Z, it... Please come. You coaxed me out of my shell when I needed it, and now it's time you come out of yours. But I like my shell. It's comfy. It's hollow. Marvin, I, I don't, I don't know if I can do this. Having one of my best friends there would be the best gift you could give me. Is Todd gonna be there? Business trip to Hong Kong. He won't even be in the country. Promise. Pinky's wear. Fine. <laughs> I will, for you, but under one condition. Anything. I do not sit at the singles table, and Lloyd will be my date. Deal. You know what, Lloyd? I think Marvin is right. It's gonna be good for me. Hey? Oh, oh! Oh my gosh, are you okay? Uh, uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. It's just a little uh, bump. Did I give you a concussion? Uh, Do you feel concussed? How many fingers am I holding up? Oh, uh, six. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. I, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's fine. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm sure. Clark Bauer. I'm Zoe Ross. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm sorry, I don't get out much these days. It's my date, Lloyd. He's big, but friendly. Smart, you found a loophole to the singles table. <laughs> Not my first rodeo. Clever, I wish I had a thought of that. <laughs> you, uh, you moving in? Oh, n no, um, I'm, I'm the wedding photographer. Mm. I just like to be prepared. <laughs> For everything. You, uh, you know they're calling for sunshine all weekend, right? I have trust issues. With the weather. With everything. Mm. Hence the date. <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> hey, do you know where we sign in? Just inside. Let me help you in. Okay, great. Thanks. You ready? Let's go. Let's go. It's just up ahead. If you want to stay with your things, I can quickly grab your key and itinerary. Yeah, sure, that would be great. Thanks. Hi. Boy, just a good boy. Wow, this place is beautiful. This place is incredible. Are you kidding? Oh, God. oh my gosh. What are we doing? Wait, we need a photo. <laughs>
Hey, did you see where the lady with the big dog went? Thanks. Hello? Zoe, I have your keen itinerary. What are you doing in there? Hiding. Uh, yeah. Should we talk about why we're hiding in a pantry? I'd rather not. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. You know I make a mean peanut butter sandwich. Yeah, I could eat. Yeah. Mm. Shh, shh. Okay, it's like I thought. Why don't you tell me why we're hiding and maybe I can help? Uh, you can't help. Try me. <sighs> Fine. My ex fiance Todd is here. He left me a week before the wedding, three years ago. Ruined my life. I cannot see him. I see. So, what's your big advice? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I would. Why don't you. Do you prefer crunchy or smooth? Do you have any extra mustard in there? Uh, yes. Yes, I think I saw some. Oh, um, <laughs> here you go. Thank you. My pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we can't hide in here forever. Can't we? Looks like the coast is clear. No tall, handsome man in sight. Are you sure? Absolutely. Ooh. I don't know if I can do this. Hey, you got this. Right. I'm a strong, independent woman who doesn't need to fear anything. Except for maybe spiders. I don't trust those creatures at all. Anything with eight legs has an unfair advantage, you know? You are not wrong. Thank you for the pep talk. I think I have it from here. You sure? Yeah, I'm good. I'll see you around? I'll see you around. Zoe. Todd. What a nice surprise. <laughs> Well, good to see you. Yeah, it's, it's really nice to see you, Zoe. <laughs> hey, Lloyd. How you doing, buddy? Todd! Are you coming? I don't want us to be late for this yoga class. I already told my fans that I would live stream the entire thing. Plus, I look amazing in this outfit. I'll be there in a second, love dog. Oh, my goodness. What a cute pop. Can I take a photo for my socials? Oh, uh... Yeah. Hi. Hi. Oh. Oh, Gucci. They are going to love this. What's his name? Lloyd. Lloyd. And Post. Hi, I'm Jade. How do you guys know each other? I'm, um, I'm Zoe. Zoe and I, uh, dated for a while. Uh, yes, we dated. That's it. Cool. You know how hard it is to get this guy into some yoga pants. <laughs> Gotta keep a tight leash on him. He'll try and escape. Uh, don't I know it. I have an extra leash if you want it. Oh! <laughs> You're so funny. I feel like we're gonna have such a good time together this weekend. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Zoe, are you coming? Yes. I am, <laughs> sweetie. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Clark Bauer. I'm Todd. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Jade, social media influencer and fitness guru. So good to meet you, Dr. Beam. <laughs> well, this was fun. <laughs> well, Dr. B and I should probably get settled in. Mm. Have a great yoga class. Thank you. Shall we? Bye. 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 Yeah. Bye. Oh. 
Thank you for coming to my rescue. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> so that was Mr. Tall and Handsome? Yeah. Mm, I've seen taller. <laughs> so, uh, doctor, huh? Uh, Why don't you introduce yourself as Dr. Clark Bauer to me? I only use that prefix for ex-fiancés who've ruined people's lives or when I'm at work. Yeah, that's fair. I do think I sense a tinge of jealousy from him, though. Good. How about we uh, keep up with the charade for the next few days? Will it get me out of being at the singles table? I think it will. And um, what about your date? Loy doesn't mind sharing his spot at the table as long as you give him half your steak. Half? Mm -hmm. You are a tough negotiator, Mr. Lloyd. Tell me about it. I only get a quarter of the bed. Well, I I'm shake a paw on it. Oh, good boy. Deal. <laughs> yeah, that's a good boy. <laughs> All right, great. So I'll see you at the welcome lunch in a few hours. I'll see you there. Cool. Bye, buddy. Okay. We just wanted to thank you all for coming. Kenny and I are so excited to share these next few days with you. We have a fun at Town Activities plan to give you a full experience of our new adventure resort opening up this Monday. You don't want to miss the zipline adventure this afternoon, and remember to start rehearsing for that big talent competition. Now, let's kick things off with this beautiful lunch. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. 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 Zipline? Talent competition? Yeah, Marvin and his talent shows. He started that in high school, hasn't really grown out of them. Cool. That'll be fun. Do you have any good ideas? Does Lloyd know any tricks? No. Then no. But it's never too late to teach an old dog new tricks, right, buddy? <laughs> Great. Uh, while you two strategize, I'm going to go talk to Marvin really quick. Do you mind? No. Go ahead. Thanks. Let's go. Excuse me. All right. Say cheese, everyone. Oh, Zoe, I was so thrilled to hear that you would be here. <laughs> oh, it's nice to see you, sweetheart. We are going to have so much fun this weekend. <laughs> and thanks for doing this. It means a lot to us. My pleasure. Hey, do you mind if I steal Marvin for a second? Of course. Great. Excuse us. What the heck, Marvin? What? Oh, let me see. Todd's here? Oh, yeah, I saw that. What happened to you won't even be in the country? I am so sorry. I honestly had no idea he was coming. You pinky swore. I know. But he canceled his trip last minute to be here. Why would he do that? I don't know. Friendship. Friendship? Why are you even so friends with him, Marvin? He's a really bad human. Breathe. First, I think you would really benefit from our yoga program. I feel like your energy's a little aggressive right, right now. Second... We've all been friends for over 20 years, and we both know that Todd is not a bad human. You guys got engaged young, and he got... cold feet. You know what I do when I get cold feet, Marvin? I put socks on. Warm, woolly socks on. Third, his girlfriend Jade is a big social media influencer and has been a huge help in promoting the resort. Our first month of bookings are all her fans. She really got the word out for us. Please be nice to her. Fine. She can stay, but Todd can take a hike. One of those really long ones with, with bears. Z, it's time for you to make amends and move on with your life. Holding on to bad emotions only causes icky feelings and wrinkles. I have wrinkles. Instead of hiding from Todd, have a truthful conversation and then close that chapter. Fine. Hey, how you doing? I'll have a truthful conversation with Todd. As long as I can keep my fake doctor boyfriend. You're what? One of my favorite activities of this hype getaway is the zip line. It is extremely fast and over 20 feet tall. And up first, we have our gracious host, Kenny. And then next, we have my girl, Zoe. Oh, <laughs> You can, you can go ahead. I'm just going to take some photos from down here. That's right, squad. Zoe is the wedding photographer. Maybe I can convince her to do a cute summer photo shoot, and I'll show you guys some of my favorite sporty outfits of the season. Sure. Yeah. Ah, awesome. Hey, let's get climbing. Oh. Thanks. 
No problem. You okay? Me? Yeah, um, I'm great. Super duper. You can go ahead if you want. Are you afraid of heights? No, no, I'm not, I'm not afraid of heights. I just have trust issues, like I said. Oh, I see. So you think a rope is going to break your heart? Yeah, yeah, I do. And my bones. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, lucky for you, I'm a doctor. Mending bones is my specialty. What about hearts? <laughs> I'm not sure yet. Here we go. Ow. How can he do that so fearlessly? Oh, nothing stops Kenny. <laughs> yeah, but isn't he afraid of getting hurt again? Well, Zoe, he got hurt in a car crash, not in a zip line. Yeah, I, I know, but wouldn't that make you think twice about taking risks? Look, I, I see a lot of patients, and most of the time, the things that hurt them are things they didn't see coming, circumstances they can't control, one unpredictable event that changes their life. Yeah, that, that's scary. Yes, <laughs> life-changing events are scary, but they also teach us valuable lessons. Oh, yeah? Like what? Well, most of my patients eventually realize that they're the lucky ones. Lucky? <laughs> well, they're still alive. Stay able to push the limits, dream, live their life to the fullest. You know, whether we get hurt emotionally or physically, life goes on. The only limits we have are the ones we put on ourselves. And maybe... Woo! Woo! Maybe it's time you take a literal leap. <laughs> Start trusting again. I'll be right behind you. Amazing. It is pretty fun, isn't it? We're booked solid for the first month. It's incredible. Can you believe it? You're about to get real busy here next week. Oh, we're ready. We have three weddings this month. <laughs> Up flowers are booked, catering, DJ staff. It's costing us a fortune. Mm. But we plan on making one. So it's all pretty exciting, Z. I'm so happy for you guys. Thanks. Jade has actually been a huge help. That's crazy to me to put your whole life out there for people to watch. I can never do it. She's really good at what she does. Mm -hmm. And people listen to her advice. You should try and get to know her. She's a good person, Z. Yeah. So, how's your fake relationship with Dr. Gorgeous? <laughs> He's sweet. And? She's good with Lloyd. And? And we are just friends, Carpen. <laughs> I have to say, it is nice to have someone to talk to who doesn't have fur feathers. I'm glad. On that note, could you do me a favor? Name it. Could you give this back to Todd for me, please? I brought it with me, and I was going to leave it with you to give to Todd the next time you saw him, but... Since he's here, you could close that book for me. Z, I, I can't do that for you. Why not? This is your journey. You need to give it to him yourself and say what you need to say. You... you need to face him, Z. I'm sorry, I can't do this for you. Open a bribe? Nope. <sighs> Fine. It'd be good for you to close this chapter. Now. We both better get some beauty sleep. Right. I have resentment wrinkles to work on. <laughs> I must admit, that smile you had on your face this afternoon mm -hmm. did wonders for your complexion. <laughs> okay. I think you better keep Dr. Gorgeous around. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good night, Z. Good night, Marvin. <laughs> Sure 
you don't mind watching me wait for a few hours? It's my pleasure. As long as you be my partner for the canoe race. It's a date. Perfect. Ah! Hey, girlfriend. Hey, Dr. B. Boy. Uh, you can call me Clark. Yeah. Hundo P, Dr. Clark. You guys haven't happened to see a cab come down here, have you? No, sorry. There's only two cabs in town. It might be a long wait on a weekend. Darn it. Um, I'll see you later. Yeah, thanks. Come on, buddy. Bye, buddy. Let's go. So, <laughs> are you leaving? No, just meeting Todd in town. I need to buy him a suit. He wasn't supposed to come to the wedding, just dropping me off. And I'm happy he changed his mind, but I can't have my date show up in shorts and flip-flops. <laughs> so why did he change his mind? Wasn't he supposed to be in Hong Kong? He is. And it was a really big deal, too. So I was shocked when he told me he was staying. He went to check me in, and next thing I knew, he was canceling his flight and coming with me to yoga class. Right. I guess Todd is just a sucker for weddings. Yeah, he does suck at weddings. What? Huh? Oh. You ready? Yes. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. Where are you guys heading? To town. I'm picking up my dress. Oh, that's perfect. Can I get to ride you? Um, of course you can. You're a tiny little thing. Funny roof. Great. Great. Please. Oh, you're gonna love the dress. Still no answer. Okay, I'm gonna go check out some of the shops up the road. If Todd gets back here before I come back, just let him know where I went. Sure thing, darling. There's a lovely men's store three doors down. Oh, thank you. Marvin, hi. Marvin. <laughs> this is my mom, Beatrice, <laughs> and my sister won't be flying in until Saturday. Oh. But. This is my good friend, Zoe. Hi. Hi. Ladies, this is Jasmine. Nice to meet you, Jasmine. <laughs> Thank you for putting these dresses on hold. Oh, my pleasure. Do you mind if I take a few photos just to capture the moment? Not at all. Right this way. Great. Um, you didn't tell me that gorgeousness runs in the family. <laughs> Where do you think I got it from? Oh. I got it from my mama. <laughs> Gosh, look at her. Wow. <laughs> oh, Mom. That's the one. Such a beautiful dress. You always had great taste, Marvin. And for the finishing touch. Oh. It's perfect. So, do we have a winner? I believe we do. I think all that's missing is the hat. Oh. Wow. You really have an eye. That's a lovely photo. Thanks. I forgot how much I miss capturing these special moments. Oh, and for your sister's bridesmaid dress, shall we pick one of the three that I have on hold, or would you like her to come in when she arrives? I think we should just pick one. She'll be too exhausted from the flight. She's about Zoe's size. Oh, Zoe, honey, would you mind trying the dresses on and we can see which one looks best? Sure. Why not? <laughs> ah, perfect. Okay, you can try these on and you two can follow me to the back to find the perfect hat to complete this outfit. Wonderful. <laughs> Zoe, what are you doing here? Trying on dresses for Marvin's sister. She's not flying until Saturday, and we're the same size, so... Well, you look, uh, 
beautiful. Thank you. Um, Jade is outside looking at men's shops for you. Okay. Out the door to the right. Three doors down. Great. Hey, Zoe. Yeah. It was uh, hoping we could chat for a moment. About what? Well, uh, we could start with the elephant in the room. Elephant? I, I, I don't see any elephants anywhere. Uh, nope, nothing there. So. Zoe, I'm so sorry that I left you before the wedding. I was a coward and I was wrong. Oh, that elephant. Yeah, apology accepted. You should probably go find Jade. Look, I'm sorry that I hurt you. But over the last two years, I've grown. And I realize now that I made the biggest mistake of my life letting you go. Fine. I'm fine. <laughs> and, uh, this, this is, um, this is over, so we're both fine, and... Zoe, I still care about you. Todd, don't do this, please. Can we just talk this week, just the two of us? There's so much I need to tell you. Todd, I... Todd! Hi. Jade is just up the street checking out the men's shop. Great. Miss Jensen, you look stunning. Why, thank you. Do you like the hat? Love it. Ties the whole outfit together beautifully. That's what I thought. Well, I uh, better find Jade. I'll see you guys back at the resort. Bye. Oh, that dress, it's perfect. Oh, no. What's wrong, honey? Mom, I think we're going to need to make another stop on the way back. Double sorbet scoop? Make it a triple. So let me get this straight. You and the handsome doctor are not dating. You're just pretending to so Todd thinks you're happy. Correct. And Todd who left you a week before the wedding, three years ago, still cares about you and wants to talk. It appears so. And you'd rather run and hide for another three years than to have an honest conversation with Todd. That about sums it up. I also wanted to give this back to him, but I just can't seem to find the words. <sighs> that does deserve three scoops of ice cream. I know. Do you still have feelings for Todd? I have a lot of feelings for Todd. In fact, I have all the feelings for Todd. Love, hate, anger, confusion. I don't know whether I want to forgive him or murder him with this spoon. You'd probably need a bigger spoon. Not the time, honey. I was ready to spend the rest of my life with Todd. And he broke my heart and my trust. Oh, sweetheart. Unfortunately, in life, things will break your heart in a million pieces. You can't avoid that. But you cannot allow those things to also break your spirit. And it seems to me you allowed this situation with Todd to break yours. Maybe a little. You're allowing fear to control your life. I think it's time you put your big girl pants on and take your life back, honey. I have an extra pair if you need them. <laughs> I think you're right, Mrs. Jensen. But first, can we finish our ice cream? Luckily, the dress I bought is stretchy. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our first annual water race. All right. All right. All right. So the goal is to get to the island as fast as you can with your partner and retrieve the flag. The first one back at the docks with their flag wins. All right, let's get ready. Remember, slow and steady wins the race. Mm, not sure that applies here. Work for the turtle. <laughs> You do seem a lot more comfortable on the water than up in the trees. Yeah, I learned how to swim. Haven't quite mastered the whole flying thing yet. Mm, makes sense. I grew up on the lake. I love it out here. What about you? Where are you from? I'm a city boy. Really? Mm -hmm. What brought you to this quaint cottage town? <laughs> My grandfather has a place here, and I love spending summers with him as a child. When I was applying for jobs, it was the first place I thought of. Mm. I think it'd be a really nice place to raise a family. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Is your grandfather still around? He is. He is. He used to run a flower shop in town with my grandmother. He's retired now, but he's got a pretty impressive garden. 
Well, I'd love to see you sometime. I'd love to show you. Go. Good luck, everyone. On your mark, get set, go! Are you sure slow and steady wins the race? I think we might be in trouble. Oh, yeah. That turtle was wrong. Okay, let's focus. We need to find that flag. What's our strategy? Um, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I like your style. Okay. <laughs> Oh, hey. Hi. Guys, yay, allies, this is perfect. Have you found anything yet? Nope. Not yet. These flags are so well hidden. Marvin does like a good challenge. So do I. Okay, uh, good luck to you two. Wait, allies, let's work together. That is a great idea. Is it? But better yet, let's divide and conquer. Yes. Divide. Mm. Zoe and I will go down by the river. You and Todd go by the rock face. Holler if anyone finds it. Ooh, I want to check out the river, so I'll go with Dr. Clark. Great. Looks like you and I are a team. What? Um, no. Oh, that's perfect. Come on, Doc. Um, meet back here in a few minutes? Yeah. We'll holler if we find anything. Come on, Doc. Tick tock. Oh, we have a few minutes, Zoe. I think we need to talk. Not the time or the place, Todd. Keep your eyes on the prize. They are, and I am. Zoe, there's so much I need to tell you. Not now. Then when? You haven't picked up any of your phone calls, and I tried calling you a bunch of times last year. Well, I don't pick up unsolicited calls. Zoe! We have a flag to find. How long have you and Zoe been together? It's fairly new. Cool. Yeah, me and Todd have been dating for five months now. Pretty awesome. It's great. Hey, how did you and Zoe meet? Oh, we were, um... Oh, there's the flag. Awesome. Good call and checking down by the river. Do you think you can reach it? Yeah, yes. Why don't I go get it, and you run back and check on Todd and Zoe, and I'll meet you back there in a few minutes. See ya. Woo! Um, okay. Zoe, stop. Just for one minute, please. You want to talk, Todd? Fine. But first, you need to listen. This, this is yours. Your ring? No, Zoe, it's yours. I want you to keep it. There's so much I want to tell you. I'm closing this chapter, Todd. I need you to listen closely to what I have to say. <clears throat> hey, guys. We found one of the flags. Am I interrupting something? No, not at all. You found a flag. That's great. Yeah. Any luck here? Unfortunately, no. No luck here. Hey. Here. You take the flag. We'll keep looking. No, we're a team. We'll, we'll stay with you guys. Uh, uh, no, you guys can go ahead. I'm going to grab a few photos anyway. You sure? Positive. Okay, well, thanks for the help. Allies. <laughs> you okay? You better. Yeah. You want to talk about it? Nope. Hey, how badly do you want to win this race? About a zero out of ten right now. Great, because I have an idea. It's a ten, I promise.
This is stunning. How did you know about this place? My grandfather showed me this spot. I like to come here from time to time and think things through. You can see why. What a perfect place to take photos. Thought you'd like it. Has wedding photography always been a passion of yours? Uh, yes and no. I actually don't do wedding photography anymore. Well, that's curious, considering you're the wedding photographer. <laughs> I was doing it as a paper. Mm -hmm. I do pet photography now. Pet photography? Yeah, you know, pet weddings, pet portraits, pets with Santa. What, people do pet weddings? Mm-hmm. More than you think. Receptions. The whole nine yards. Wow. Right? <laughs> so why the change? One guess. Mr. Marginally Tall and Handsome. You good at this game. Mm. <laughs> After our wedding was canceled, I couldn't bring myself to shoot happy couples every weekend. Animals are different. Mm, smart. <laughs> I'd be lying if I didn't tell you that I hadn't thought about jumping ship and becoming a vet. Seriously? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I can see why I would have its advantages. I did think about quitting once. Really? Mm. Why? It was the beginning of my career. The first few months were amazing. I was really making a difference in people's lives. I thought it was the best career in the world. So what happened? I, um... I lost my first patient. I'm so sorry. It was extremely difficult. I just couldn't stop thinking if there was something more I could have done, you know? I'm sure you did everything you said. It didn't stop me from wondering. I lost myself for a little bit after that. I just find a way back. Good friends, time, mm -hmm. and realizing that there's certain things in our lives that we can't control. When life throws us challenges, we can't change who we are. I feel like there's a lesson you're trying to share here. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> no, not at all. Just. Making conversation. Okay. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. <laughs> that was fun. Thanks, Clark. I needed that. I'm sorry we didn't win. Uh, that's the last time I take advice from a journal. <laughs> Zoe! Zoe, come here for a sec. My chat wants to talk to you. Your chat? My fan. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> That's okay. I'm not really a chatty kind of person. Apparently, you have been very modest. You were named the best wedding photographer in Wedding Wonderland. That is iconic. <sighs> that was a while ago. They were being generous. They are the most prestigious wedding magazine ever. That is a major deal. Come over here, girlfriend. Do you want me to go check on Lloyd? Great, thanks. I won't be far behind. As you guys know, this is Zoe. Zoe, this is my chat. Hi, chat. So what's the most glamorous wedding you've ever shot? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I heard you shot JP and Paul and Pink's wedding. Is that true? Yep. Oh my gosh, to love weddings. I'm jelly. <laughs> huh? How does one plan the perfect wedding day? Make sure your groom shows up. <laughs> you guys, I told you she's hilarious. Yeah, that's, that's me. <laughs> hilarious. And how does one book the most sought after wedding photographer? Oh, I, I, don't, I don't take bookings anymore. Oh wow, that busy. Well, you'll have to make an exception when I get married. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I should probably go. Lovely chatting with you all. I'll see you later. Uh, okay. Well, I will catch you guys in a few hours. Signing off for now. Hey, Zoe, wait up. Sorry about that. I forget not everyone lives their life on social media. Yeah, I'm more of a private person. Sure. I totally understand that. Sorry for putting you on the spot. No, that's, that's, that's okay. Can I ask you something? Sure. You must know Todd pretty well since you guys dated and all. 
Yeah, I, I, I guess. I was wondering if maybe you could talk to him. I feel like there's something bothering him. Maybe he would open up to an old friend. I wouldn't really consider myself an old friend. Oh, I didn't mean to call you old. No, no, I, I didn't take offense. I just mean that I don't really think that I'm the right person to ask. I know it might look like I have a lot of friends, but that's just my image. Those are my fans. In real life, it's a little bit harder for me to make good girlfriends. Look, Jade, I, I really wish there was more I could... Please? I spend my entire life talking to people online. But in real life, it's a, it's a little harder for me to be myself. I love Todd a lot. I could really use the help from someone that I can trust. Look, Jade, there's... Hey, Jade, ladies. Hope I'm not interrupting anything. Uh, no, just some girl chat. Were your ears burning? Ah, talking about me. All good things, I hope. Of course. How could anyone say anything bad about someone so <laughs> mean? Uh -huh. Okay, um, I should probably go check on Lloyd. I guess we'll see you at the beach party tonight. Yeah, um, Jade, I will think about it, okay? Thanks, Zoe. Ooh, that view. Isn't it incredible? Yeah. We need a photo. Oh, cute. Oh, buddy. What do I do about this whole Jade and Todd situation? Yeah, that's how I feel about it, too. Any thoughts on Clark? I think we're both on the same page, Betty. Okay. How do I look? Good? Okay. So, Dr. Clark Bauer, tell me, why aren't you married yet? Start the night off with a doozy. Are we not there in our fake relationship? I suppose we are. It's a long story. Well, the night is young. <laughs> and so was I. That was the problem. There was someone. There was. Go on. I got engaged. Mm. Right out of med school. I was a hopeless romantic and proposed to the first girl I fell in love with. Sweet. She was a fashion student. We both took our work very seriously. Let me guess. She found out you wore socks and sandals and she bolted. What is wrong with socks and sandals? <laughs> Go on. She got a job offer in New York. Mm -hmm. I got a job offer here. I wanted a home and a family. She wanted a condo at Winners in Cabo. Uh, we were just different people. Do you still have feelings for her? I think a part of me will always love her. But I'm happy that she's living the life that she wants to live. She's happily married to a man who loves Cabo as much as she does. <laughs> what about you? How did you and Todd meet? High school sweetheart. So you've known each other for a long time. Yeah, we have. Where did it go wrong? I'm not sure. As the wedding approached, he um, started to become distant. Started taking more business trips. I don't know, I could tell he got nervous. Did you have cold feet too? I wouldn't have admitted it then, but I definitely had my reservations. So why are you so afraid to talk to him? I don't know. Old feelings coming back up. You know, the ones I push deep, deep down with ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I know those feelings. Not a bad guy, you know. He just hurt me a lot, and I'm tired of hurting. Just want to move on with my life and start a new chapter. So let those feelings go. How? I... Opening yourself up to new feelings. Mark. Zoe, may I have this dance? 
him a terrible dancer. <laughs> Perfect. That makes two of us. Come on. Okay. Me too. For the record, you're not that bad. Neither are you. Zoe, these look gorgeous. Yeah? I look good. You look good. Yeah, that's what I said. And FYI, Zoe, thanks to you, we just got two more bookings for next month. Thanks to me? Apparently, you've been a huge hit with Jade's fans. I have been? Yes, which leads me to my next big question. What? There has been a lot of calls inquiring about you. Oh, no. How do you feel about being our official resort photographer. No, Marvin, I have my pet photography business in the city, you know that. Don't you miss doing weddings? And getting big paychecks? I do. And I do. You can have the best of both worlds. What do you mean? Keep your pet photography during the week and spend the weekends here. Ease back into it slowly. Just think about it, see. Morning, guys. Oh, just gonna get an apple before yoga. OMG, these are gorgeous. Oh, thanks. Hey, I know you're probably super clocked up, but any chance you could swing a quick photo shoot this weekend? Clock, clocked up? Busy. Oh, um, yeah, sorry, I'm totally clocked up. Please, my fans would love it, and it would be tight publicity for this place. Tight? Great. I'm begging. Um, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for Kenny and Marvin. I don't know how to say no to that. Perfect. I'll see you this afternoon. Sure. DGFN, off to morning yoga. Okay, am I the only one who needs an interpreter? Uh, ta ta for now. Oh, right. Seems like someone's warming up to Jade. Yeah, she actually seems pretty nice. She is. Just hope Todd doesn't break her heart. Zoe, he's grown. Mm hmm. We'll see about that. Hey, guys. Hey, Doc. Hey. Hi. Any pleasure this morning? There's a yoga class. Let's raise the bird. Great. Want to rehearse for the talent show? Are we actually doing that? I think it's mandatory. It's definitely mandatory. Well, we can't let our grooms down. It'll be fun. Okay. Where are we going? Have a little trust. You're asking for a lot. I know. Go. I'll keep an eye on Lloyd. Thanks, guys. We'll see you later. Come on. Okay, buddy. Clark's going to teach this old dog some new tricks. See you later. Who is teaching an old dog new tricks, and how can I sign up? Clark is bringing us somewhere to practice for the talent show. How lovely. I used to do a great number with Mr. Jensen, but it's just not the same without him. Oh, I haven't participated in those for years. Well, Mrs. Jensen, grab your dancing shoes. You're coming with us. I am. Oh, Okay, an adventure. I just can't wait to it again. <laughs> Cramps! Clark! Oh! The garden is looking beautiful. Thank you, Clark. Not as beautiful as your lovely company. I'm Zoe. Pleasure to meet you, Zoe. I'm Ned. And who is this pretty flower? Oh, I like you. <laughs> I'm Beatrice. Pleasure to meet you, Beatrice. I don't get much company these days. Happy to see some lovely faces. What can I do for you today? We need some dance lessons. Uh, we do? Last night gave me an idea. Oh, what a hurt. Well, you've come to the right place. why you loved it here as a kid. 
It's a pretty special place. How long has your grandfather been alone for? Uh, my grandmother passed about 10 years ago. He used to be quite the social butterfly, but he doesn't get out as much anymore now that she's gone. He's still a charmer. Runs in the family. <laughs> Zoe, I've had a really good time getting to know you these past few days. Me too, Clark. It's been a long time since I found someone I enjoy spending time with. Same. Do you think that maybe after the wedding you might want to spend some weekends up here? I think I'd like that. Good. Great. Now, before we learn to dance, we have to choose some costumes. Costumes? If you're gonna dance, you gotta dance with flair. Uh, Honestly, Ned. Where did you get all these fabulous costumes? Ah, uh, I have to give my wife credit for those. She loved to collect old pieces. The grandkids had a blast going through this old trunk. I can see why. Hey, Ned, why don't you join us for the talent show? Me? Yeah. I must admit it would be great to have a night on the town. Beatrice, will you be my dance partner? I would be honored. <laughs> great. Well, let's learn some steps. Huh, I'm kind of thinking... Like, with these... Yes, the flowers. Oh, like, the river here. Oh, this is so perfect. Yeah, over here. With, like... Zoe. Earth to Zoe, hello. <sighs> Sorry, you ready? You seem in a happy mood. Yeah, yeah, it's been a good day. This wouldn't have anything to do with that super zaddy Dr. Clark, would it? That zaddy? As in hot. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, maybe a little. Isn't it so good to be in love? It's not in love. What? Uh, I, I mean, yeah, obviously. I'm in love with my zaddy boyfriend, Clark. Okay, can I ask you something? Sure. And you can be straight with me. I can try. Why did you and Todd break up? He seems like the perfect guy. I don't know. We were young when we met, and our relationship hadn't been tested in the real world. And? and when it did, let's just say we didn't pass. But you definitely don't have feelings for him anymore, right? No. No, of course not. Good, because I have a favor to ask. Uh, from, from me? Okay, so you know how Todd's been acting funny. At first I thought something was wrong, you know? And then I did some snooping and I found a ring in Todd's vest pocket. <laughs> a, a, a ring! Zoe, Todd stayed back because he's gonna propose. <gasps> oh boy. I know I'm not supposed to know, but can you find out when? How epic would it be to live stream the entire thing? Imagine the views I'd get. Dave, look, there's... Um, something. This proposal is going to be the best day of my life. And I'm so happy. I. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, ta I'll talk to Todd for you. Thanks, Zoe. It's so great having another woman to talk to. I'm really happy that we're friends. So, you ready to shoot? Sure. I just need to set up my live stream so it doesn't count unless it's on social media, right? <laughs> right. How do I look? You look. <laughs> Can I join? Of course. Thanks for helping with Jade. I'm sure it hasn't been easy for you. You have no idea, Kenny. When did life get so complicated? Puberty? <laughs> right. You're doing okay. Not really. I'm in a horrible bind and I, I don't know what to do. Need help breaking a body? No. Did you a bank? No. Saw government secrets? Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> in that case, you'll be all right. Remember, honesty is key. Unless I rob a bank, right? Exactly. <laughs> Pretty good advice, Kenny. Works for me. Hey, how do you do it? What? Get past what happened to you. I mean, look at you. You shine. You're fearless. You're living out all your dreams. It took time, Zoe. I was scared at first, but baby steps, so to speak. I'm afraid. 
of my past, my future. I'm afraid to let go and open myself up to love again. It's normal to be afraid, but eventually you just have to jump back into life or miss it all together. You're right. I'm so happy for you and Marvin. And I'm so glad that you guys convinced me to come this weekend. It's been really good for me. Helped me face a lot of truth. I'm glad. <laughs> You're gonna be all right, you know. Yeah. Well, I just need to settle this with Todd once and for all. It's time. It is. I'll talk to him after the talent show tomorrow. Look at this bunch, you look great. You clean up pretty well too, huh? Why, thank you. <laughs> well, I certainly think we deserve the best dress award, regardless of my two left feet. I think your two left feet happen to go really well with my two right feet. They do, don't they? Mm -hmm. Oh my, the competition looks pretty stiff. <gasps> All right, awesome. Thank you to the amazing Cody Sandstorm, everybody. That was very impressive. Awesome. Up next, please put your hands together for Todd. Woo! Oh, I wonder what Todd's talent is. It's a great disappearing act. Thanks, everyone. This next song goes out to a very special woman. From the start, the day you still in my heart, cause I swear. Is she okay? Uh -oh. Does anyone have ice cream? Thank you. Todd, that was so beautiful, so heartfelt. I was live streaming the entire thing, and my fans think I'm the luckiest girl in the world. That's great. I'm sorry I left up, but I gotta go make a phone call. I'll be right back. Is everything okay? Yeah, it's fine. Let me know how the next performance goes. Okay. Zoe? Todd. You okay? Really? What? You sing our song. Our song. What's wrong with you? I was trying to be sweet. You showing up at our wedding would have been sweet. You singing a song for your current girlfriend would have been sweet. But this? This is just cruel. How is it cruel? Because, Todd, you're playing with my emotions and you're playing with Jade's emotions. You haven't grown up at all. I was just trying to let you know that I'm still thinking about you. Todd, you know what? I've been dreading this conversation, but I think it's time we bury this. You have hurt me. You have hurt me more than I've ever been hurt before. But we are never going to get back together because I can never trust you. Zoe, I've grown. I've changed. Really? Because all I see is a grown man ready to break another woman's heart. You need to take a look around and realize how you treat people. Zoe, I still care about you. Don't you have any feelings left for me? moved on with my life. So, as you guys know, my man has been acting a little bit off lately. I definitely think something is up. But I think that something is a big diamond, if you know what I mean. And speaking of the girl's best friend, I've asked Zoe to help get some details. So let's be super sneaky and see how it's going. So you love Clark? No. No, 
God, it, it was a lie. Clark and I are not together. So you still love me? How do you think I feel? Of course I still love you. Zoe, I still love you, too. When I saw your name on the guest list, I canceled my trip so I could see you. Please, just keep it. Guys, I am. I have to go. No. No. I was ready to spend the rest of my life with you. Those feelings don't just disappear. I've moved on with my life. And, and we are never going to get back together. It's over. Let me give you one solid piece of advice. You have a lovely girl in there who loves you back, and you're being a jerk. If you love her, you need to tell her, and if you don't, you need to be honest with her before she invests any more time and emotions into you. okay yeah for the first time everything is perfect well that sounds promising it is you ready to rock this competition i sure am great let's do it Left feet and two right feet really do complement each other. <laughs> we made a pretty good team up there. We really did. <laughs> so, what happens after the wedding? You heading home? Marvin actually offered me the official position of wedding photographer at the resort. Sounds like a pretty good offer. It is, and uh, I think I'm going to take it. I can keep some clients in the city for the week and then come out here and shoot weddings for the weekend. Does that mean you're over your fear of weddings? I think I might be. <laughs> so I saw Todd. Followed you out earlier. Did you have a chance to clear the air? Yeah, I, I did. And? And I think I'm finally free. Thank you, Clark, for being there for me this weekend and all your advice. Zoe, spending time with you has been magical for me, too. Well, I guess you can add mending hearts on your list of expertise. Can I? Mm-hmm. Zoe! There you are. We have a problem. Is everything okay? No, not okay. Sorry, Clark. I need to talk to Zoe. Now. Okay, um, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. What's going on? Brianna, hi! Hey. You finally made it. I did. Flight got delayed and I had to spend all day at the airport. The air was so dry. Mm -hmm. Brutal. Brianna, show her. Right. Show me what? No easy way to say this. What's going on? It's about Jane's blog. What about it? Do they not like the photo shoot? Do they not like me anymore? Kids today are so fickle, am I right? Oh, honey, they really don't like you, but it has nothing to do with the photo shoot. 
What do you mean? When I landed and checked my phone, her latest post was trending. What does that mean? It means Jade's latest blog had more viewers than the 6 o'clock news. Okay, what does this have to do with me? Better if you just watch it. If you know what I mean. And speaking of a girl's best friend, I got Zoe to help get some details. So it's me super sneaky and see how it's going. So you love Clark? No. No, Dad. It, it was a lie. Clark and I are not together. So you still love me? How do you think I feel? Of course I still love you. Zoe, I still love you, too. When I saw your name on the guest list, I canceled my trip so I could see you. Please. Just keep it. Okay, th that's a, not what happened. I, I, I mean, it, it was, but it, Todd and I are not... I have, I have to go. Okay. How many people have seen this? More viewers than the 6 o'clock news, honey. Not to belittle this issue, but we have bigger problems. What could possibly be worse than this? Our bookings for the month? Two of our weddings canceled. Apparently, they're big fans of Jade's, and now they feel it's bad mojo to get married here. But they can't cancel. You've already booked everything. The food, the flowers, the, the cake, the staff. If they cancel, then it'll be a disaster. Oh, it's a disaster. How do I fix this? I don't think you can fix this, Z. This is all my fault. It's not your fault. I just thought you should know. I'll call providers tomorrow. Maybe we can salvage your deposits. I'll try to talk to Jade. I knew I shouldn't have come. I'll, um, I'll call my friend to do your wedding photos tomorrow. I think it's best that I'm not here. Jade will probably change her mind and, and come back if I'm gone, but I'm sorry. Feathers. That's what I'm sticking to from now on. Clark. Can I come in? Uh, yeah, sure. Are you gonna leave without saying goodbye? I take it you heard? I did. Look, it's, it's not what it looked like. She captured a very small part of a very big conversation. Zoe, it's none of my business. The conversation with Todd should have been private, no matter what you discussed. I ruined everything. It's not your fault, Zoe. Yes. Yes, it is. But look, I want you to know that I told him the truth. That we are never going to get back together, and whatever feelings I had left was just a part of the process of letting him go. Were you telling the truth about us? About us? When you said there was nothing between us, that it was just a lie. I don't, I don't know how I feel. I, I should have stayed home. I even managed to hurt you. Zoe. Look, I'm leaving first thing in the morning. Let's talk about this. I'm done talking. I really thought this was the beginning of something special. Sorry, too. Take care, buddy.
You leaving? Yes. Happy? Now you're gonna have Todd all to yourself if this cab ever shows up. No, not happy. And trust me, I do not want Todd. You want a ride? What? A ride. That cab is never gonna get here. I can drive you. Maybe we can talk? I don't want to talk. Okay, all right. But I do need a ride. I can be silent. Fine. Great. Good. Come on, let's go. Gotta jiggle the lock a little. It, it sticks. Thank you. So, why are you leaving? Dr. Zappi and Stupid Todd weren't enough for you? She's calm, Stupid Todd. I did. <laughs> I'm not hating that name. It's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny. Why are you laughing? And why are you leaving? It's a long story. Do you have time for a pit stop before you head home? I feel like we have a lot to talk about. Hmm. I've never had ice cream before breakfast before. Is this even legal? Only in emergencies. <laughs> Well, I think it's too late for a 911 call. I got the 411 last night. Thank you very much. Great. I can't believe you did this to me. And I thought you were my friend. And you said that you had no feelings for Todd. I know, I know. And I'm so sorry. But it's complicated. Seemed pretty clear to me. That ring was meant for you and not for me. Jade, it's not what it looked like. Yes, it was my ring, but it was from three years ago, and I'm the one who gave it back to him. The truth is, Todd left me a week before our wedding three years ago, and it's the first time I'm seeing him since. What? There's things to figure out, feelings to work out. I haven't been on a date and gone to a wedding in three years. I don't... I don't understand. I've stopped doing wedding photography because the thought of watching people in love and, and getting married every weekend was just too much for me. Okay, one moment. Because between this dairy and this drama, this is a lot to digest. I know, I know. Ask me any questions you want. You said you hadn't dated in years, so what about Dr. Gorgeous? What's going on between you two? A decoy. I met him here while I was checking in, and he saw that I was panicking and offered to help me. I didn't want Todd to see how hurt I was, so he pretended to be my boyfriend. It's pretty convincing. Yeah. Yeah, I grew into something more for both of us, I think. Not that it matters anymore. And that conversation that I walked in on with you and Todd about your feelings? A very small part of a very big conversation. Of course I still love Todd. I was ready to spend the rest of my life with him. And I'm not in love with him anymore. And after last night, I can finally say that I'm free of all things Todd. I just needed to confront him and let all my feelings out so that I can finally move on. But there is nothing between Todd and I. There isn't? No, not for me. Not anymore. And you've moved on? Well, I did until I saw your post. Then I ran from everything again. Right. Look, I'm so sorry, Jade. I'm sorry I wasn't honest with you from the beginning. You're a good person and, and you deserve good friends and you deserve a good boyfriend. I thought I had both. Well, I can't vouch for Todd. That's something the two of you will have to figure out on your own, but you do have good friends in your corner. Marvin and Kenny have been raving about you all weekend. And if you'll forgive me, 
I would love to be your friend too. Really? I would. <laughs> I'd really like that. And I owe you an apology as well. You do? <laughs> I should have never streamed a private conversation. I crossed the line. I was wrong. How about we start over? I'd like that. <laughs> Friends? Friends. <laughs> <laughs> so what next? We both stop running and try to fix the mess we made with Marvin and Kenny. Oh my gosh, the boys. I have been so focused on my own life that I didn't even think about how this would be affecting them. I think our personal issues have definitely put their big opening day in jeopardy, not to mention a huge damper on their wedding day. I would hate to ruin things for them. Why don't we team up and fix this disaster? <laughs> okay, I say let's go team. All right. <laughs> what I'm thinking is oh hi everybody. <laughs> um if you face the camera facing this way yeah. and shoot us. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> hey. Zoe. You came back. So happy you're here. Oh, honey, it's wonderful to see you back. I'll give you two a moment. Marvin, I'm so sorry that I messed things up. I'm just happy you came back to see me walk down the aisle. I am done running from weddings. I will be here to capture every special moment of the day. But what about your friend? He showed up this morning and is already setting up to take the photos. We're putting him to work, don't you worry. We? Oui? Jade and I made up over a triple scoop this morning. Wow, ice cream really does fix everything. Right? I'm not going to ask how that even happened. But I'm happy to hear that you two worked out your personal problems. And we're going to fix everything, I promise. How? You don't mind if we live stream your wedding, do you? Me? International attention, adoring fans. I was born for it. <laughs> but Zoe, no bride is looking for a last minute venue. It's too late to replace next week's wedding. Don't be so sure. I have an idea. Don't worry about a thing. Just go out there and enjoy your special day with the man you love. Thanks, Z. I love you. I love you too. What? <laughs> Does that offer still stand? Which one? Exclusive wedding photographer for the resort. It sure does. <laughs> Great. Sign me up. Hello, Mrs. Jones. Oh, Zoe, so nice to hear from you. Oh, your photos of Wilfred and Pebbles are absolutely amazing. We're thrilled. We've posted them everywhere. Ah, oh, that makes me so happy to hear. Hey, is Mr. Randolph still looking for a venue and a photographer for his granddaughter for next week? Why, yes, he is. Great. I know the perfect venue and the perfect photographer. We ready? We're ready. You ready? I'm terrified, but let's do this. Great. How do I look? You look zaddy. <laughs> All right, ladies. We're going to go live in oh, three, two. Hi, guys. Welcome back. I'm so sorry that I left so abruptly in my last live stream. I know there's been a lot of speculation about what happened, but I think I owe you guys the truth. I invited Zoe to join me so that we could clear the air together. Hi. First off, I want to apologize. I share my entire life on social media, but that doesn't give me the right to other people's private conversations. I was wrong. Sorry, Zoe. Thanks, Jane. And secondly, I did the thing that I despise the most, which is assuming things. The truth is, guys, what you saw was just a small part of Todd and Zoe's conversation. The two of them may have history and lots of things to work through. But what you guys caught was completely out of context. I don't know if Todd and I will make it past this. Love is complicated. But regardless, it was not Zoe's fault. And it surely isn't the fault of the owners of this beautiful resort. This place is magical and so beautiful. And I know some of you might have backed out of your bookings. If that's the case, I am begging you to please reconsider. The owners are some of the sweetest people we know, and they will make sure that your wedding day is perfect. 
Plus, Zoe is now the official venue photographer for this place. So if you book your wedding here, you will also have your own personal celebrity wedding photographer. And that can't be beat. <laughs> That's right. And to show you how perfect this venue really is, we are going to live stream the marriage of two of our best friends and the owners of the stunning resort, Marvin and Kenny. So sit tight. The ceremony will begin in 15 minutes. And you do not want to miss it. No, you don't. <laughs> Zoe, good job. You finished it. You're still here. I am. I was actually just looking for you. I was hiding in the pantry. I knew I should have checked there first. What are you doing here, Zoe? Facing my fears. Starting a new chapter. A new chapter, huh? Yeah. And I was hoping maybe you'd be in it. I think I'd like that. I'm really glad you decided to stay, Zoe. Yeah, I thought it would be nice to stop running for a while. <laughs> I wasn't sure I'd see you again. Took the words right out of my mouth. Oh my! I sense that someone's fake relationship has blossomed. You guys look amazing. We don't mean to interrupt, but the wedding's about to start, and I think our exclusive wedding photographer should probably be there. Yes, sir, I'm on my way. <laughs> hey, Zoe, whatever you and Jay did worked. We are officially fully booked again. That makes me so happy to hear. Now let's get out there and have the most romantic wedding any resort has ever seen. I am ready for my close-up. <laughs> <laughs> shall we? We shall. <laughs> hey. We need to talk. We do. Everyone, please stand.